you've got 15 years on this whole technology run, right? You know, since Facebook and all those other technology platforms have risen, we've been in this instance of separation or forced separation or technological separation in a, in a drop of a time, in a, in a very small amount of time, right? And so we're looking to solve, uh, an, you know, millions of years worth of problems in yeah. a shorter period of time because our technology has compounded that, uh, that problem. So, I mean, my, you know, when I think of, uh, when you, if you talk about Jeff Bezos or certain kinds of companies that exist today, uh, it's a product-based company that's, that largely caters to third-party resellers that never get to meet their customers in person. They don't ever have to talk to them. They don't have to like have a video conference with them. There is zero connectivity. I click, I order, and someone from somewhere across the country spent their, you know, their time and their effort and their wonderful energy making something for me and it comes to my doorstep. And so uh, it takes, the business is largely humanless as it is. So, so maybe we get to the point of automation where those kinds of companies are not as risk for par, uh, um, worse leadership dynamics, but for the, for the vast majority of the rest of the companies that deal with more of the people, uh, that's where we're gonna have to focus. So hopefully you make product companies more product and automation oriented and our human companies can return to a more human place and we can focus on there because some of those other companies, they may be, it may be too late um, and we may need to make robots operate in those environments more than we would uh, in the, in the human dynamic. But as far as I know, uh, everyone here on this call and the rest of the humans that are on the planet, we're not going anywhere for, a, you know, for a long period of time, I hope. Um, so we need to make the most of it.